Hello everyone, I am Santosh Walke and in this video we will do the simulation of heat exchanger using the ammonia production process. So let us start. Uh, we are going to simulate the heat exchanger in the ammonia production process. As you know there are many production process available for the ammonia. We are going to refer one Haber process in which we are going to take the nitrogen gas from the air and is combined with the hydrogen gas to produce the ammonia. The mixed gas is cooled by water in a heat exchanger. So I will first explain the simple flow sheet of this ammonia production. Uh, we are going to take the hydrogen with 310 kilogram per hour flow rate with uh, 230 degree centigrade temperature. Pressure is 6640 kilopascal. Nitrogen is the second component with flow rate of 120 kilogram per hour temperature 200 degree centigrade and the pressure is 6600 kilopascal. We are going to mix these two gases in a mixer and then the gas mixture outlet we are going to cool by using the cold water which is available at 30 degree Celsius centigrade and the temperature is 10 atmosphere. The outlet temperature of the water is 90 degree centigrade and pressure is 6680 kilopascal. The gas mixture outlet temperature we have to cool it from the mixture outlet to 57 degrees Celsius and the pressure we are expecting 10 atmosphere. So let us start the heat exchanger. You can see we are going to design this heat exchanger. This is the shell and tube heat exchanger. There is a tube side fluid and shell side fluid. We'll, I will discuss how to select the shell side and tube side fluid. The fluid package we are going to use this Peng Robinson for simulation. So let us start. So once you open the Aspen High Seas, uh, click on the new case. Now there are three components involved. So first we'll select the component. First component we can type it as hydrogen. Then second component we'll select nitrogen and third component is water so we have selected three component hydrogen nitrogen and water now we see the status is ok the fluid package we are going to use for the simulation is Peng Robinson so click on the Peng Robinson fluid package. Let us see. It is showing the property package is OK. Now we'll enter in the simulation. So we'll select the first material stream. We'll give the name of this material stream as nitrogen inlet. Temperature is 200 degree centigrade pressure is 6610 kilopascal and the flow rate is 120 kilogram per hour now we have to select the component so we will click on the composition tab now hydrogen is not available because this is a nitrogen gas stream so we will enter nitrogen 1 and water 0 see the other two component will enter 0 and we will enter nitrogen as a 1 click on the normalize and click on the OK tab so our stream is complete now we'll select the second material stream we'll give the name stream name as hydrogen inlet temperature is 230 degree centigrade pressure is 6640 kilopascal the mass flow rate for this stream is 310 kilogram per hour and now the composition will enter hydrogen 1 nitrogen 0 and water 0 click normalize and click on ok now we have to mix these two stream so we'll select the mixer from the object palette so mixer is you can see it over here we'll drag it double click on the mixer we can type the name of this particular equipment as mixer 
we will select first stream hydrogen and second nitrogen so these two gases are the inlet outlet we can give the name as gas mixture and we will press the enter now the water stream is complete so we have mixed these uh, two gases nitrogen and hydrogen and we will select the another three more stream first stream will give the name as cold water inlet which is available at temperature 30 degree centigrade with pressure 10 atmosphere can select the 10 atmosphere pressure and the mole fraction since it's water other component are not present so we'll enter from the water one normalize and ok this stream is not complete because we have not entered its flow rate so we'll select one more stream and we can give the name of this stream as water outlet its temperature is 57 degree centigrade and pressure we are not going to change its pressure we will keep the same pressure as 10 atmosphere it is showing unknown composition composition also not we are going to enter and we will select the last stream that is the gas mixture outlet so we will give the name gas mixture outlet with temperature 90 degree centigrade and pressure 6680 kilopascal since it is showing a non composition we will keep as it is now we have to select the heat exchanger from this pellet window drag this heat exchanger double click on this heat exchanger we can give the name as heat exchanger now here the main question is how to select or how to allocate the fluids in shell side and tube side so there are some criteria about the fluid allocation in the heat exchanger so fluid allocations either shell side and tube side how to select so where there is a no phase change occurs few factors will determine the allocation of the fluid to the shell side or tube side so very first one is a corrosion most corrosive fluid should be allocated to the tube side this will reduce the cost of expensive alloy or clad components fouling is the second criteria the fluid with greatest tendency to fall is always placed in tubes fouling can reduce by increasing the velocity of the flow in tubes and tubes can be cleaned very easily as compared to the shell the third criteria is about the fluid temperature Placing the hotter fluid in the tubes will reduce the shell surface temperature and there will be no need for thermal insulation to reduce the heat loss or also for the safety reasons for the person who is operating the heat exchanger. Next criteria is about the operating pressure. The higher pressure stream should be allocated to the tube side. Then pressure drop. Fluid with lowest allowable pressure drop should be allocated to the tube side. Viscosity. Generally, the more viscous material is allocated to the shell side since this yield higher heat transfer coefficient and this needs the fluid to be turbulent so stream flow rate is also one of the criteria allocating the fluid with lowest flow rate to the shell side will normally give the most economical design so in short we can say the tube side fluid are corrosive fluid cooling water falling fluids less viscous fluid high pressure stream or we can say hotter fluid and shell side we can say the condensing vapor unless it is a corrosive or fluid with large temperature difference so probably greater than 40 degrees centigrade so here so naturally the gas mixture is the hot stream we can select the tube side inlet as a gas mixture tube side outlet naturally the gas mixture outlet shell side fluid will be the cold water inlet and shell side outlet will be the water outlet so it is asking that the compositions are unknown so we'll click on the worksheet and it is saying that 
the vapor composition and the glass water composition we can enter this one and now if you click on this it is saying the composition is unknown so we can click on the composition here the composition for the cold water inlet hydrogen is we have to enter zero then nitrogen you can enter zero and water is one click normalize and ok now our simulation is complete now we can place this unit or properly arrange the unit by clicking auto position all now we'll analyze the results so double click on the heat exchanger so if you click on the design this is our heat exchanger and if you click on the parameters you can select the the fluid with the overall heat transfer coefficient 6385 the tube pass is used to and shell passes is 1 if you click on the rating tab you can find out the shell side pressure drop we have considered zero where tube side it is given minus 70 kilopascal the tube volume is coming 0 0.1930 meter cube and shell volume per shell is 2.272 meter cube now if you see the shell dimensions click on the shell you can see the shell diameter is coming 739.05 millimeter the number of tubes per shell are coming 160 tube pitch is coming 50 millimeter tube layout is one of the important uh, design criteria about how this uh, number of tubes are we are going to place in the form of bundle so by using the triangular pitch 30 degree we are getting the shell inside diameter is 739.05 millimeter now we'll change this there are four types of options are available for here this is the triangular rotated now after changing to triangular rotated 60 degree you can see the shell inside diameter is become 689 now we'll select the another type of arrangement square 90 you can see the shell inside diameter is become more and if you select the square rotated with 45 degree the shell diameter is 625.46 mm so you can see which kind of tube layout you can select then if you click on the worksheet you can go to the composition composition is not changing the properties of the fluids that you are going to use you can find out if you click on the performance tab uh, the heat duty is 6.374 into 10 to the power 5 kilojoule per hour the overall heat transfer coefficient is 6.38 into 10 to the power 3 kilojoules per degree centigrade hour LMTD this is the collected LMTD is coming 99.83 and uncorrected LMTD 106.383 degree centigrade now here you can see the hot pinch temperature 90 degree and cold pinch temperature 30 degree centigrade is appearing so if you see the pinch temperature is nothing but the point at which temperature difference between the both stream is minimum this point is called as a pinch point so if you plot the temperature versus the heat flow diagram we can analyze the pinch temperature so on y axis we will keep the temperature and on x axis we will keep the heat flow so if you see this is the starting temperature 90 degree and this is 30 degree so pinch temperature for a hot fluid or shell side of fluid is 30 degree and for tube side of fluid is 90 degrees Celsius so you can see the behavior how the shell side of fluid is increasing the temperature with respect to the temperature and for the tube side fluid so this is the next aspect is a dynamics is a very interesting but probably in the next video I will I will give some demonstration about the dynamics part so if you click on the design click on the connection we will minimize this okay so we'll insert the results this is the material stream then 
composition stream we can enter over here we can place it properly and the energy streams details so also we can view in the in the plant view mode we can see in the plant view mode how it looks here this is the plant view mode so friends I hope you like this video in case any query please write in the comment box I will be very happy to answer your query so happy simulation bye bye and take care